Mr. Anderson is on the house. Bleep. April 25th, 2023. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. Today is the concert. Come out and support your friends and peers perform in the small ensemble, Unit F, percussion ensemble, and jazz ensemble. Doors open at 6.30, and the concert starts at 7 p.m. Support the music. We will see you there. Attention all photographers. Start looking through your photos and posts for great pictures around Ephrata. There's a photo contest for you. The students traveling to Eberbach, Germany on the exchange this summer are making a calendar of effort to give as gifts. And we want to showcase your work. Whether you took the picture for photography class or a friend Instagram post, if you think you have a great shot, submit it for consideration. Categories include local landmarks, seasonal scenery, and fun with friends. Photographers with photos that are selected will get a free copy of the calendar and, of course, photo credit on the page. Just remember that if your picture includes people, you will need permission from the person in the shot. Please submit your entries. Now, over to a sophomore t-shirt sale video and Barb with the news. Hey, are you a sophomore? Do you want an amazing, affordable, and fashionable t-shirt to show your school pride? If so, you need to get yourself an official Class of 2025 t-shirt right here. This shirt has a striking design voted for by you, the Class of 2025, and is available in four wonderful colors. Blue, pink, a slitted gray, and purple. The prices are $10 for a short sleeve shirt and $15 for a long sleeve shirt. If you want your official Class of 2025 t-shirt, come down to this table during lunch. Make sure you have your money with you and fill your form. Remember, you must pay for your shirt when you bring your order form or a shirt will not be ordered for you. Your payment of $10 or $15 will be due soon, so buy your official Class of 2025 t-shirt today. No, hey! Everyone, it's me, Spencer Shea, with something I know you love. <laughs> no, not that. I could get in trouble for that. I'm gonna do the news. The news. Too bad I'm doing it. National Library Workers Day is observed on the Tuesday of National Library Week, which is today. The day recognizes the importance and contributions of the library staff who keep our libraries running while we get lost in the wonderful books. Libraries are more than a place for borrowing books. They reflect the needs and expectations of our communities. And library workers are the ones fulfilling those needs and expectations by making information, books, and resources more accessible. Libraries work because they work. Also, in other news, it's Ephrata AM's very own Maritza's birthday today. If you see her in the hall, make sure to wish her a happy birthday. Woo! That's me! Now back to the main desk. This year's Powder Puff game is Wednesday, May 10th, at the War Memorial Field. Kickoff is 7 p.m., junior versus senior girls, in an all-out melee, the likes that have been seen since last year's Powder Puff game. Bring a friend, bring your family, make it a first date, any way you slice it, come on out Wednesday, May 10th, to watch our junior and senior girls duke it out with pride on the line. Will the seniors leave undefeated, or will the juniors rise up and give the senior girls that final farewell? Come out on May 10th and find out. Now over to lunch and sports. Sup, this is Poi PL de Clown. This is a 25th of April day walking tacos. Fish tacos with pineapple salsa. Papa John's pizza. Crispy chicken wrap. Fruit and yogurt parfait with muffin. Buffalo chicken salad egg.
Yesterday, the Ephrata Track and Field squads hosted a very talented team from Conestoga Valley. In a meet that went down to the wire, especially on the boys' side, both Ephrata teams prevailed. Final scores were girls Ephrata 95, CV 55, boys Ephrata 83, and, bo and CV 67. Individual winners on the boys' side were the 4x800 meter relay team of Caden Landis, Noah Ringenroth, Ringen Miles Kimball, and Noah Keller. Nick Keller in the 100, 200, and 400 meter, da meter dashes, Parker Luce in the 1600 and 3200 meter runs, Miles Campbell in the 800 meter run, and the, the 400, 4 by 400 meter relay team of Jeremiah Knowles, Noah Keller, Miles Campbell, and Nick Keller. Toby Barrett in the high jump and long jump, Weston Note in the shot put. Individual winners on the girls' side were Gianna Long in the 100, 200, and 400 meter dashes, Madison Kimmel in the 800 and 1600 meter runs, Ella Fouts in the 3200 meter run, the 4x400 team of Marie McCracken, Katie Brass, Madison Kimmel, and Gianna Long. Lily Shook in the high jump, Sydney Hornberger in the long jump, Courtney Smith in the triple jump, Adeline Zimmerman in the pole vault, and Sofia Rivera in the shot put and discus. Both teams remain undefeated at five wins and zero losses, and the boys pulled a big victory, one of the biggest of the boys' side in, a re in recent program history. Thank you to all those who attended the meet yesterday and supported our teams. Also, yesterday, C softball beat CV 1-0. Junior pitcher Ellie Meyer threw a no-hitter while striking out nine buckskins. She also drove in the only one of the game on a sacrifice fly. Baseball won 11-0 versus CV. Boys lacrosse lost versus CV, and girls also lost versus CV. Today, volleyball is, is at Garden Spot, and now back to the main desk. Students will go to period one for ACT today. Have a great day, Ephrata!